this is code.org and let's see what we're doing. If you don't have this stuff, go back to the other bubbles. Prompts. Pro part 2. To use the information stored in the variable, we first need to wait for the user to answer. Okay, that would make sense. You now have a new event block that is triggered. Ooh, there's a lot of fancy lingo here. We'll get to it, guys. That is triggered as soon as the prompt is answered. Okay, what is triggered mean is it is run. So this code is technically quote unquote triggered by me slapping this run button. What this is saying, this block would be triggered when we answer the question about our name, for example. All right, do this. Drag the new when answered block into your program and make sure the variable name matches the one in your prompt. Got it. So let me scroll down here and variable. Oh, nope, uh, event when answered. Okay, now notice this is just question marks, which won't work when what's answered. The computer has no idea. So we need to tell it, and it's not, it's really tempting to be like, ah, Mr. Kaiser, it's what is your favorite star is answered, right? But that's not, that's not here because the computer prints this for us, but it doesn't keep this. It just slaps it on the screen. What it keeps is the answer, is the variable. And I named my variable answer, right? I could have named this Fred. Fred would be a bad variable name because it would make no sense right now. But whatever I name it, that's how we're keeping track. So when I type in something like K, if I typed that in, where does the computer store that? Smack answer variable, which is why I need it here. I need to tell the computer, hey, when answer is equal to something, connect a print block under the new event. We're going to be doing this. Make sure all variable labels match. So you see this purple thing? This color is supposed to be a variable, right? And so we don't want to question again. We want to print our variable. So now we're saying when we answer this favorite star question, the answer, whatever I type, goes into this answer variable. This answer variable will be equal to whatever I type. The computer then says, huh, when answer is in, oh, oh, answer, answer's answered. Print answer. And it will throw this onto the screen. Hopefully. Run. All right. What is my favorite star? You. Do you get it? Because it's him. It's that one. It's that one over there. Ah. And pause. I just want to show, right? And notice this is highlighted because the second I hit enter, answer is equal to this. And it says, oh, that is now equal to something. Prints it out. Fancy. Onward.